Hi, it's a glass eve. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my little blue house. My name is Debbie, and of course, we're going to be talking about crochet and crochet accessories that I have purchased within the last week or two. Uh, we're going to start out with works in progress. Now, this one is complete, but the whole, you know, I'm going to be making like two or three other ones to go with it. So actually the project is not complete, just this one little flag for bunting or garland, whatever you want to call it. And it's just very simple, it's just double crochets and, you know, decrease along the sides as I go down. Uh, maybe two or three others. I don't know. I don't know how many exactly, but when I'm done with it, I'll show it to you. My next work in prog progress is this. This is going to be a little lovey thing with a little animal, little stuffed animal head sticking through here. I just started this, was it day before yesterday, I think? I haven't done too much on it, but it's getting there. If it works out right. Now, the yarn is kind of stiff. So, when I'm done crocheting it, I'm going to put it in the dryer and soften it up a little bit. But I want it to, you know, to drape down more than what it's doing. But we'll see. And when this is complete, then I will show you that too. I'm, uh, I'll show you what I'm, I'm using the Red Heart Super Saver Fail, Fair Isle. And the color is Calm Fair Isle. And it's blues, gray, and um, aqua. It's really pretty. Okay. All right, well, that's it for my works in progress. Actually, no. I'm almost finished with a car seat blanket. Um, I'm on the very last round of it. But I didn't bring it in here because it's so close to being done. I'll just show you that next video when it's complete. All right. Here are some items that are complete. First one here is a bunting or garland, whatever you want to call it. And I have this hanging on the door to my craft room. Hang it like that. And it's a pattern based on my Simply Pretty Square. So I'm calling it the Simply Pretty, what do I call it? Simply Pretty Triangle Bunting or something like that. But that's on my blog, which is DLY's Hooks and Yarns. If you do a Google search for that, it'll come up. So I have that completed. I also completed a water bottle bottle cover. <laughs> water bottle. No, not a bottle. Bottle. Oops. And I don't have the strap. I have to get a strap for it from, uh, from the Dollar Tree. But yeah, this is made with loops and threads charisma, and the color is called passion. And you can see the the colors are really bright and vibrant. And I I glued this button on there, and then sewed it on. And I used yellow to make it look like um, stamen. Damon, but it didn't quite work out too good, but you know, good enough. I also made another face mask. This one is not lined, but uh, where I live in Maryland, we have to wear face masks when we go out, which is, which is good. You wear your face mask so you don't spit your germs at everybody. 
Not that I'm saying you spin or anything, but you know what I mean. There you go. It goes like this. And hook it on your ears. There, got your nose covered and your mouth covered. And it works pretty good. I can still breathe, but nothing's coming out or whatever. My next project completed is this. It starts up here. I have it on a ring and it hangs. And you can put like a uh, fake flower in there if you want. Put a candle in there. And the bottom looks like that. that come, yeah. And then it just goes up the top and there you go now let me let me get this little fake candle and I'll show you I got these it's a pack of two from the dollar store oh you you know what can't even sh there we go it does the fake flickering like it's a real candle or something mm-mm Oh, they won't. There we go. Probably won't be able to see it since the light is not a good light, but I can see it pretty good. Go. Or, like I say, you can put fake flowers in there. Now, these two, actually, I've made three, but the other one's in my dining room. They're uh, mason jars that my daughter gave me. She had candles in it, and she was done with the candles, so she gave me the jars, and we can't see the light. Can you see the light? So I just crochet little covers for them. I have that one, and this one, and this one. This one, I should have made popcorn stitches all around, but for some reason I decided to do just one every other one. I don't know. I like it. All right. Well, that looks like it's it. That's all I've done. And, uh, oh no. No. I have one more section. I have item uh, things that I bought. And this, I bought some stitch markers from Rose Likes Crochet on Etsy. And I don't know if I can get them up there. I'll do it this way. Looking backwards on the screen, but it says love, L O V E. Hmm. But yeah, and they came on a little safety pin. So I bought that Rose Rose likes crochet on Etsy. I also, I bought one more thing, and it's this. Isn't that cool? It's a crochet hook, and I got this from. Safari, Safari Crochet, and she's on Etsy also, but it's a uh, pink sparkly, and I believe, I would imagine that this is acrylic. I don't know exactly what it's made of, but acrylic, close enough. But yeah. And like I said, it's Safari, S-O-P-H-A-R-I. I might be pronounce, mispronouncing that, but I'm not sure. Safari Crochet on Etsy. Okay. All right, well, that's it for now. And hopefully next Saturday or Sunday, we'll have Laura on here again because uh, she'll be able to show you her plastic canvas that she's completed. And uh, everyone stay 
healthy. And we'll see you next week. Bye.